Hello everyone and welcome to a new video from your Overwatch. I'm Eddie the Chump and today we'll be talking about a topic that's deeply important to understanding the game, how it works and how to succeed at it. And that's the role support plays in setting up your team to win. Okay, so for the first part of this video I'd like to talk about the two support players that I play with. I have a friend called Jamie who's an excellent Mercy and also quite a useful Zenyatta. He's also capable of playing DPS characters like Widow and like McCree, but it's really in support that he shines. Most of the team currently are around 60 to 70, but Jamie, because he solo heals, is in ELO Hell. He's currently level 45, which is odd to me because he's one of the best players on the team. And you would think the argument I'm going to make that support wins games would mean that he'd actually be a much higher level. The problem is obviously it doesn't directly win games all by itself, but you cannot win with weak support. Another player that we play with is called Tuka. He's got great support decision making. And the combination of these two when we play regularly in competitive means that the DPS players on our team, namely me and Weagle, can actually do our job because without them, we're lost. The thing about the new meta is that it's very dive heavy. And what I mean by that is there are plenty of characters now with the power to initiate fights. Think D.Va, think Winston, think Genji even, or even Tracer. They can initiate fights and single out one person to absolutely make sure they kill. This can cripple an attack or a defense. So actually, Keeping people alive has never been more important than it is now. I'd actually go as far to argue that support is more important than DPS. If you have the best DPS in the world, they can't do anything if they're already dead. And as I've been playing competitive this week, playing as McCree, I found it harder and harder to stay alive. And that's the problem. In the new meta, support has become more difficult. There really is a symbiotic relationship between your support and DPS. Supports typically are kind of squishy, so are DPS. And they're both responsible for keeping each other alive. If that synergy between those two roles isn't on point, you're just going to lose games. Let's talk about the pressure now put on healers. The big culprit is D.Va. D.Va can pretty much fly in, block any DPS damage and kill any target that she chooses. If she's smart, she'll pick your DPS or your healers. Certain heroes really suffer from this, Zenyatta being one, but Mercy is perhaps the worst affected. Now you might think that Zen is actually more vulnerable because he can't fly away to another teammate. But the thing is, the D.Va has to contend with being Zen orbed if she charges Zen. This can result in a very quick death and she can chase down Mercy. All of the support characters have fairly limited movement when you really think about it. Only Lucio wouldn't really care. He's the only one that actually heals himself. Plus he has his boop mechanic to knock tank or DPS away from him. Everyone else is weak, everyone else is squishy. And this is a big problem with Ana in particular. She's a sniper who can't reach higher terrain. She's rooted to the floor. This makes her exceptionally vulnerable. Yeah, sure, she's got a sleep dart, but that won't save you for very long. So even though they're vulnerable, let's look at how important they are. Zen's orbs are almost mandatory at this point. The Harmony Orb is incredible on a DPS in a front-facing team fight. I played a game recently where I was playing as McCree on Gibraltar on attack, and the defending team had a Zenyatta and a McCree of their own. I'm sure many of you know this, but if you're 1v1 against a skilled opponent and they have a Harmony Orb and you don't as a DPS, you are probably dead. And this is what happened to me over and over again. Several times I would outshoot my opponent only to have the Harmony Orb save him. And this is speaking nothing of the fact that I could have been discorded and Zen can be shooting me at the same time. Zen can be an incredibly, incredibly powerful teammate. But many of you know, he's actually quite difficult to play properly. Another video on that later. Anna is still relatively weak, to be fair. She's not used at the top level a whole lot. Her ultimate is excellent, but like I said, she's just too vulnerable. Why is a sniper on the floor? I've never understood it. She should at least be able to climb to different places. She has absolutely no evade options. I'd actually like to make a bit of a strange case here for Zaya. Zaya isn't a support, she's a tank. However, However, direct shielding of a teammate and yourself at the right times? I'd like to argue that's a support trait. She's incredibly important in a team fight. Let's talk about Lucio for a moment. With one of my previous videos, Death of the Death Ball, my argument was that grouped up team tactics were actually seen less often because the whole game has stretched out. Well, let me just tell you, a Lucio ult and speed boost is almost unstoppable, still to this day. His gun still does fairly decent damage for a support, and he's the only support that can heal himself. So this semi-death ball style that Lucio can actually do is actually even more potent now in the dive meta. As soon as he hits that speed boost, D.Va can just fly off and kill whoever she wants. He's incredibly powerful, but he requires game sense. All the supports do, in fact. That's why they're actually harder to play than you think. Knowing when and where to use this tactic is the difference between winning and losing. Let's just talk about support ultimates for a moment. Arguably, they're the most powerful in the game. Think about it for a moment. Mercy has a res, Ana has a nano boost, which is pretty much her only value. Lucio has his sound barrier, 
and Zen has his Iris. All of these can decide a team fight just by themselves. So you can't be a support, have that power at your fingertips, and be an idiot. Support is actually harder to play than people think, and it's more important than people think. It just doesn't get the glory. I'd just like to make this argument. It's not going to be very popular. You can get by with average DPS. You actually can. There's a certain threshold of damage output that your DPS needs to be putting out. But there's only so much health your opponents have. If you're staying up longer, you'll be able to do more damage. As far as I'm concerned, and it's just as simple as that. If you have good support and exceptional DPS, you're gonna win a lot of games, but you can quite easily rank up if your support players are really on the money. So if you're a solo healer stuck in ELO hell in competitive mode, fear not, you will find some good teammates. You are more important to the team win than almost anybody else. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like. If you'd like us to discuss anything specific in the future, please leave a comment below. I've been Eddie the Chump, and until next time,